What is going on guys? It is Fatal Reaper Day bringing you guys another video. We are on a classic game here, Resident Evil Zero. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Yes, we are on the HP Pavilion Gaming Laptop. We have the full settings or max settings, if you will, on Resident Evil Zero. It's not really a very demanding game, but it is one of my favorite classic ones. I remember playing Resident Evil was one of the first games I played, the original, and then of course Resident Evil. I actually skipped a few and actually went to Resident Evil 4 was the one I played. I did play Resident Evil 2, the original as well. There's just great games, great franchise, love the games, and I really wanted to do some uh, videos on them. I have most of the games on here, Resident Evil 2 Remake, Resident Evil 3 Remake now, and I wanted to do Zero. I already have four. I will do other ones too, most likely. I just want to get some of these games uh, on here, especially on the Pavilion. These are some of my cla uh, some classic games, as well as some of my fa uh, you know fa uh, personal favorites. So I wanted to get on and do some tests on these. So we do have it on its max setting. We do have over 100 in FPS. Of course, we're getting pretty consistently. Um, I do have a lot of people jump on here on my CPU and talk about the uh, um, the temps. So I keep having a lot of that in temps. I understand that temps are high. That is only because it's on the charger. If I were to unplug the charger right now, it goes straight back to 60, which is normal temps. So those temps are on. And yes, you can get better temps if you want to undervault. I do plan to do an undervaulting video in the future. At the moment, though, it's just not that big of a concern to me. It's not really a problem. And I wanted to do more videos like this. And the reason I want to press on that is because I've not done anything to the laptop. I overclocked it one time, the graphics card for a video. Nothing more. It is not overclocked anymore. I do not keep it overclocked. I like to press and show that more on this laptop to show how well it is just out of the box. This laptop is exactly as it is straight from the box. I still have the box behind me, actually, and the laptop and everything like that. There has been nothing added besides RAM. All I have is extra RAM. That's literally it. I have uh, 16 gigs of RAM instead of 8. Everything else is straight out of the box. Nothing's been messed with. Nothing's been undervaulted. No... Uh, obviously no um, overclock, no nothing like that. This is just the laptop's power. I like to really express that and really show that to this laptop um, before I start doing other things like that. But I do plan to undervault it um, here in the near future. I'll show you guys how to do that as well. I've looked up a few videos myself. It doesn't it's not too uh, it's not too hard to do, but I'll show you guys how that. But the temps being that high that you see right now, that is normal because it's plugged into the charger. I keep my laptop plugged into the charger uh, usually when I'm doing videos, so I don't lose any charge or anything like that. So don't, you know, stress about that or anything like that. Because if you were to unplug it from the charger while I'm doing this, and I've tested it many times, it goes right back to 60, 60C, which is completely normal temps. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave me some comments down below. If there are any games like that, I'll be sure to get to them and everything like that. I'll be live streaming on uh, my main PC, doing some Fortnite, some other stuff this year. I'll be streaming on the laptop here and there. I'll be doing videos on the streaming of the laptop, everything like that, so... Uh, appreciate you guys for stopping by. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button as always. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Split up. Roger.
Rebecca! 